first thing on my list was to buy my car and I didn't know how I was gonna do it I didn't know where I was gonna first of all I never did I make no money I was being paid less than like a hundred grand little bit of money hi guys it's your girl Jo welcome back to the channel Lord, my miss you know I feel like I haven't posted a video in a while don't it yeah I don't know because I'm used to waking up every day and commenting or responding to comments and I feel like I haven't done that in a while I think this is probably the longest I've gone without posting a video a week but I'm committed to posting a video every week at least one video sometimes you have two sometimes you have three it just depends on the time I have but I always make time to ensure that I post at least one video every week and most likely this time of the week yeah so anyway let's get to it so today what I'm going to talk to you about obviously based on a topic as you know uh, is something that I actually one of the things that I thought about making a video about when I just started the channel uh, but what motivated me more to do it is that after I posted that video about cash versus mortgage a girlfriend of mine actually reached out to me and asked what I would do in the case of a car I was like oh hmm, it's funny that you asked because that's actually what I did so here it is and that's what we're talking about is today as you know I was a man with a gold spoon in my mouth nor a silver spoon <laughs> So I be, I had to do it for myself. I knew that I I didn't have a mommy uh, a mommy or a daddy to buy me that or that Porsche with that red bow on top of it. I knew I had to, I'd have to be the one to do it myself. And then there became a point in my life where I was like, mm -mm, I'm done with the walk for life. No, you know this is it. No, it's time for the car. And so. It actually happened where I was interning at my job and the internship had ended but they called me back and I was like yes first thing on my list was to buy my car and I didn't know how I was gonna do it I didn't know where I was gonna first of all I never did I make no money I was being paid less than like a hundred grand little bit of money yeah but I knew that that was my aim I wasn't being paid what I what I would love to be paid. I wasn't being paid what I feel was enough to get me a car. However, I knew I would just have to start saving. And once I start, it 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 end somewhere. So <clears throat> my plan that I devised was that okay, I had to think about where I'm gonna buy my car. I have to look at the prices for cars. And so I was looking at local websites and looking at the type of cars that I want. Of course, we can't afford the Audi or the Benz, so I have to look for something like a cheaper. Yeah, uh, you know, nice look at a uh, um, Honda or a Swift or something. Yeah, and the price range for those is like over a million dollar, anywhere from like, and it depended on the year. But I was looking at something anywhere between fourteen hundred or one point four million to, for me actually that was the range i was looking at but the cars here in the mart were anywhere between that i wanted was anywhere between 1.5 and 2 million and when i saw it i was like ah, my little bit of money i wouldn't make reach that so but i also had a few friends who import this car and based on what they always say and based on other persons that i know who have bought cars or who have imported cars or who have bought cars that were imported and know usually it's a little bit cheaper and uh, even if i like my 100 grand or 300 it look a bit cheaper and so that was my road as i like, okay i have to buy a car and import it but either way how i think i'm always thinking futuristic and for me at the time i was like hmm the u.s just has slide so so i started saving and decided i was going to save in usd and so the first thing I did when I got paid that, that September, I went downstairs because of course I work on a building where a bank is. <laughs> and I went downstairs and I opened my US dollar account. And my goal was that even though I'm not making as much as I want, my goal was that I'm going to save at least 500 US dollar every single month, no matter what. And so that's what I did. 
when I got paid, that's the first thing that I do every month. I did every month is that I took out 500 US dollar, put it in the account, and then I paid my, all my other bills afterwards. And I did prioritize in which bills had to be paid first. First of all, I noticed all of the house bills I have to pay first the light, the water, the, the cable, the internet, everything. Then I knew I had to buy groceries, I had to find lunch money, bus fare for work, all of that. Those things, so I prioritized. I knew the house bills were first. And then the lunch money, then it would just have a good stretch. The little pinch of money would have just have a good stretch. Anyway, I take it. But also what helped me is that the decks that I was working at the time, it facilitated over time. And then... The, the functions of the decks were, used to be done by like three to four people and at the time those persons had moved into other departments and they were not replaced so all of this work fell on top of my decks and I had to deliver I had to do it I had to get it done and so it was expected that I would work overtime and I worked it and so that helped trust me when you have a job that work overtime and you need to buy a car it come in very handy and when i say overtime i mean like almost every day on the weekends i remember even one month straight i worked i wasn't working every day during the week but i remember i was at work every single weekend and i'm talking saturdays and sundays i remember saturday and sundays my like my only little time for myself for for good gym for do all of these things that i love as you know i love adventure so i had to give up those things um in order to make the little overtime money for buy the car so that we can stop walk on the road we can actually drive <laughs> yeah and that's a sacrifice i had to make but i was willing to make it i didn't complain i was glad to make it because i was <sighs> stacking up the bricks yeah and that work for me so if you have um a job that facilitates overtime like guys take advantage of it even where i work sometimes other departments are in need of assistance and if you know somebody then they'll reach out to you or you can volunteer and actually contribute some overtime in another department so that's good if you're trying to save for a car that would be good um let me know in the comments if you've ever had to do that if you've worked in other departments or if you've had to work overtime in order to make ends meet or in order to achieve a certain goal yeah i mean for me honestly i i work my overtime and i worked it honestly because honestly as in my integrity i strongly believe in working hard for what you have and i don't believe in easy money and i believe in karma so i was not going to be that person where oh because i can't work overtime and i can't come on weekend i'm just going to claim the overtime no i actually ensured that i worked for it because i don't want when i didn't want when i buy my car it go right off and then me i think so oh because me did work the overtime i'm in, you know me just go sitting in the office i've never worked the overtime no I always ensure that everything I have, everything I own, that I worked hard and honest for it. So if anything bad should ever happen, I know it's not karma. It can be anything else in any world, but it's not karma. And so if you have a job or you know where you can work overtime, guys, do that. That will help. For me, one of the things that motivated me to to save even more because even though I was saving. I wasn't sure what point I was gonna get to, you know, my birth. I was thinking, okay, should I buy my car for my birthday? Should I buy my car for Christmas? Like, I just know I want no more, but you know, I want to do it for a special occasion. I want to say, I buy my car for my birthday, or I bought my car for Christmas. And at the time, I was like, okay, I'm gonna think Mega Meet the birthday. And I knew a girlfriend of mine who was in the process of buying her car too. She actually bought hers. And when I asked her, how much she's paying back for her loan um she actually actually ended up buying the same kind of car she told me that after the car valued probably over 1.5 and then after the mar sorry <laughs> after the interest payment of the loan over the five-year period she would have paid over two million dollars for it and i'm looking at her like uh -uh. You mean me must take over half a million dollars and give the bank my hard-earned money? 
I'm like, and in the back of my head, I'm like, uh -uh. me, I'm about five hundred thousand dollars save up right now. If I can't save five hundred thousand dollars in like almost half a year, then I just need to tough it out a little further so that I can meet at least save a one point five and buy my car instead of being tied down to this loan friend, tied down to a loan for the next five years. And so after I heard how much she was paying, I was like, mm-mm. Me not even a resort to a loan for help finance no part of this car. Me, I got to this out and I save every single penny and buy my car cash. And so that was my goal. I was now tunnel vision and I was like, <laughs> but yeah guys seriously i was just determined and i mean every single overtime i think i even had a strategy where i i wouldn't touch every overtime i made i would save every overtime i make i'd save it plus the 500 dollars from what i was making before so it's as if even though i was earning the overtime it was as if i wasn't making it i didn't see it so I was getting the money, but I, 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 when I got it, I just put it in the account. And what I was making for my basic salary, I still took that $500 from it and saved it. And it, still, it was just a lot of sacrifices. But I said, if I do it, you can too. And that was my goal. And uh, it's different when you're trying to buy, I'm not going to say, you can save for anything you want. A house may be harder because you look pan I mean Jamaica you look pan a good thirty million twenty five for like a an apartment, a nice little one bedroom or two bedroom apartment depending on where. But if you want and if you're at a stage where you're trying to buy a car, you have to it will be different for everybody. Maybe you'll not be able to make the sacrifices that I make. Maybe you don't have the opportunity to get overtime, but there are other things you can do to earn extra money on the side. As I said, maybe you can earn it in another department, or maybe you can buy some goods and resell them, something. There has to be, you have to think creatively. You have to think about a way. Or if you're fine with paying for a loan, then that's fine. Um, me, I was, as I said, after I heard how much my girlfriend was paying back, I definitely was not in any rush. And so it's, it, it's, it was a great feeling, honestly, when I hear everybody talking about car loan, this and car, I'm just like, uh, I'm dead free. Yeah, I have my car. <laughs> it's a good feeling. When I look at my paycheck and no car loan now come out tight, no loan now come out tight, um, it's a damn good feeling. And so if I could save for everything, I would, trust me, I would. I wish I could save for a house. I would say for everything but it kind of rough but it's, it's possible as I got anything you want to do just put your mind to it and do it and you just have to learn to be disciplined and have a plan I always ensure that I have a budget each month and it works I'll do a video in the future sometime about making a good budget and how to stick to it and how to be disciplined. I believe I'm very good at saving. I've always been very good. If it's one thing I give myself like a props for, <laughs> it's saving or being a good saver and a very good spender. I've always spent, I've never regretted any financial decisions in my entire life. I've never squandered any money. And yes, I like nice things. I like nice things so I do um, treat myself from time to time I don't I don't I don't believe I should be working this hard to live like a papa I need to look fly you know I just do it responsibly and I try to get bargains where I can and make sure I save all the time so when I do spend I don't feel guilty um, it can be done guys as I said do the thing but that's my experience. I hope it was useful to somebody out there, somebody on this journey, somebody who trying to step them game up and don't want to be in a walk foot no more. Yeah, um, I hope this helped you in some way. And yeah, drop a comment below to let me know if you saved to buy your first car, if you bought your first car cash, if you were like me, right? You were not about that car loan life. And let me know what you think. Uh, As it depends on your goals and where you're at and what you can do and what you want to do because even when I bought my car cash, I had friends who were making probably double, triple the amount I was making, but yet still, they they didn't see themselves being able to buy a car cash. They instantly took a loan, and it was 
it was as I say, it was a good feeling when I didn't have a car loan to pay back. That's just one, you know, expense less than what I already have. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, drop a like, comment below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, tell a friend, share the video with a friend. And I hope you find this useful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.